You know, I recently had a conversation with a really good friend of mine on Facebook, um, who I respect greatly about gun control. It was good civil discourse, we didn't argue. Um, but I thought, you know, before I tackle this conversation for the thousandth time on TV and radio, uh, I want to address all my friends that feel that banning guns are going to stop mass shootings. Because in short, uh, it wouldn't, not even a little bit. Uh, and for every piece of research uh, showing more guns, uh, more crime, I've got three other pieces of research showing that, uh, that, that concealed carry laws drop murder uh, rates and mass shootings significantly. And do me a favor, do your own research if you don't find me credible. Um, because I do show prep for a living, and I, I've, I've got my sources down. But if you if you want to open up a book yourself, maybe start by going to the DOJ website, because they're the they're, they're the one faction who would love to ban guns, and uh, their research supports my argument herein. So, having said that, uh, I do feel like automatic weapons uh, should be heavily regulated, if not taken off the market completely. Uh, but banning guns altogether is not the answer, because respectfully, how's that drug law doing for you? How's the war on drugs doing? Dr Last time I checked, drugs were illegal. Um, and how's it working out for the opioid crisis and for cocaine and meth and the drug cartels? Mass shooters are not law-abiding citizens. So how are gun laws going to help? My friend says back to me, he says, look, Sully, with that kind of argument, then why don't, we, why don't we ban driver's licenses because they're overkill because some people still get behind the wheel while they're drunk. You know, if you have an analogy like that, it's a flawed analogy for a number of reasons because driver's licenses are about operating a vehicle and have almost nothing to do with, with preventing DUI. And again, look, I'm no gun enthusiast. They scare the crap out of me. But I do know this. Banning the guns only keeps guns out of the hands of law-abiding citizens because they're just that, law-abiding citizens. So uh, criminals are going to find a way to get their hands on guns regardless, just like they find a way to get their hands on, on opiates and heroin. Uh, just like they are able to harm children and rob banks and everything else. The other big question I have is, is where does the removal of our constitutionally guaranteed freedoms end? I mean, do we start banning knives? Do we start banning rental trucks? Maybe we start banning churches. Maybe that would help us all. By the way, as Al Capone said, prohibition didn't work. Sincerely, a guy who's never owned a gun.